How much you pay your boss cut to take that? Eh? It's my other John cousin. Other John. And John. I don't know like your fucking last name. Tread lightly with me. Joy, Joy, and Jody, Jerry, Jays. I don't want to like the fucking name. Okay? Tread lightly with me tonight. We got all the way in Brooklyn. Moving to Brooklyn like a thief, man. Like a thief, man, and then whoever is in, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Give me a major break. It's been 18 years now since I've been in the industry, and from then to now, y'all have teared me down countless times, and I don't expect y'all to stop. It comes with the territory, so it's like water on a duck's back at this point. Dog, you are a civic now? Do you think Jack Dio and Irfan and these guys play fair? With, the, with those folks in Brooklyn. All Airfan wants is to get an opportunity to be escorted around Brooklyn. Right there in Brooklyn. Go at the hills. I don't know when was the last I've gone to the hills anyway. Uh, Melly Mel had this to say about Tanka Marshall, and it has led to a feud online. Melly Mel wrote Tanka Marshall got some good songs, but for some reason the local crowd, well not just the local crowd just don't get excited when she's on stage. Why is that? Other Guyanese artists and entertainers shared their feuds about Tanka. So, earlier today, I went and bought the food. I saw a big commotion, a big crowd. Everybody screamed my name, doggy, doggy, doggy. And because of the discrimination as well. You can't go around hugging these people and think that everything is honky-dory. No, everything is not honky-dory. Let's put this out there. Let's clear the hair, first of all. I don't know what y'all are saying. This is what I said. Never. That's a problem. It seems only negativity brings my people together and that's very sad to see. I have never proclaimed myself to be the best singer, dancer, performer. I'm an intelligent woman who will give you a well-written song that's well-produced and a quality video to go with it. Wretches and Kangala, don't play with me. Do you not play with fucking me, okay? Welcome back to the flight. Hit that subscription button, buddy, and stay updated with everything that's trending in Guyana and the diaspora. Thanks. Delta 9 family, President Ali visited Brooklyn, New York a couple of days ago and it got the internet going wild and it's still viral right now. Guess why? Because the backlash start. People want to know if some people is sell out or not. The question is, if certain persons, certain social media content creators, if they switch team, if they jump ship, if they know on the other side, a lot of questions are being asked and we got popular persons commenting on it. We got Dagi talking his side of the story and how he ended up in the picture with President Ali, allegedly. And then we got Bench Cup calling out a particular person. I don't know if you know this person or if you know who he's talking about, but Bench Cup is about to get into some more commentary on the visit of President Ali to Brooklyn, New York, the APNU stronghold where he rode off with a lot of support of the supporters and the opposition is talking about it. Let's get right into the conversation now and hear what Doggy got to say and what Bench Cup got to say. Dog, you are a civic now? First of all, right, let me put this out there. Let's put this out there. Let's put this out there. Let's put this out there. Okay? Let's put this out there. Let's clear the hair, first of all. I don't know what y'all are saying. This is what I said. I see Mohammed all the way. All the fucking time. Now, some of y'all got this shit very fucked up, right? We, on behalf of me and my boss, Mr. Mohammed, we don't hate nobody. We don't shout out hatred. We real. Do you understand me? We are real. Okay? So... Earlier today, I went and bought the food. I saw a big commotion, a big crowd. Everybody screamed my name, doggy, doggy, doggy. I saw the president of Guyana there, okay? He come and take a picture with me, and he take a video to give me a hug. His words west to me. When you coming home, doggy? I said, on the 30th of this month. And he was like, okay, report to my office. That's an order. We're like, wow. 
Everywhere I'm going is me, Mr. Mormon is going. I'm not trying to go by myself. Don't fucking play with me, okay? Don't play with me. I have one boss. His name is Azadine Mohammed. So cocksuckers, wretches and kangalang, don't play with me. Do you not play with fucking me, okay? And some of y'all very personal, right? Y'all very personal and fast, okay? Y'all very personal and fast, right? I send it, when I take out a video, I send it to my boss. I send it to my boss. On a vice note, look, I send it to my boss. Okay? So, wretches, y'all don't play, y'all can come around me funny. It's one team, one team, okay? One fucking team. Team Muhammad Ali time. I'm not fucking critics. I'm not soup drinker. You can't give me soup and fucking eye wine. Are you dumb? Don't play with me. Do not fucking play with me. Okay? And we don't, we don't, on behalf of Mr. Muhammad and us, we don't carry hate in our heart. We don't carry hate in our fucking heart. It's all about love. Unite. Love. Okay? Second way, I don't know. The president is a Muslim. Muhammad is a fucking Muslim. Get it right. Get it right. Okay? So I want y'all to get it right and stop your scut. I have one team. One team. Okay? And I said today, they don't have to like us, but they have to respect us. Team Doggy and Team Mohammed. Respect us, US, as in fucking us. Don't play with me. Not in the mood with you Don't play with me. I choose a side a very long time. Okay? Can't go back. Can't go back. How much you pay your mother scut to take the eh, it's my other John cousin. Other John. And John. I don't know like your fucking last name. Tread lightly with me. Joy, Joy, and Joni, Jenny, Jays. I don't wanna like these fucking name. Okay? Tread lightly with me tonight. Exactly. Some of y'all gotta come off a certain nonsense. I come off a fuckery, okay? Choose a side. Good night, the dirty stinking dog, you corrupt mother scot. I write to be corrupt. I write to be corrupt. They don't have to like us, but they respect us. Okay. O U S, okay? Us. No sleep for the wicked. Anyway, I come here for corruption. We come here to talk about a picture of a fucking big We up on the I the fucking celebrity. The crowd was calling my name, doggy, doggy. They was even saying, doggy, you are the real president. Okay. Well, this is what happened in Brooklyn earlier. Take responsibility. Yep. We want you to look out for us. We do not want no segregation. No. We are one people. And one if we can do it, let's do it together. Yeah. Because we have respect for you. Thank you. All right. There is only one, one way forward, and that is united. That is for us to band together, for us to understand the challenges together, and for us to overcome those challenges. Ask the, don't ask what the country can do. Ask what you can do for the country. So we are here to work together as one. Thank you. He gone all the way in Brooklyn, moving to Brooklyn like a thief, man. Like a thief, man. And then whoever said, ask not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Give me a major break. People don't know when to pull back, you know. There's a song by, um, who is it? It's Kenny Rogers. Gambler. Uh, do you guys know that song? You gotta know when to hold them, know when to walk away. And, well, they don't know. They just want everything overnight. They just want to play this game of being fair and they're nice. And do you think Jack Dale and Irfan and these guys play fair with, the, with those folks in Brooklyn? 
All Airfan wants is to get an opportunity to be escorted around Brooklyn. Right there in Brooklyn, go at the hills. I don't know when was the last I've gone to the hills anyway. Am I hill? I'm sorry. And then there is the German on Utica. I haven't gone there. Never gone there. Never. In Guyana, when I was there, I stopped going to Germans many years now. Maybe 10 years now. No kidding. When I make my mind up, I make my mind up. I repeat, when I make my mind up, I make my mind up. And I rather drink salt water or sugar water than to go against my beliefs. Now, I'm not saying that people don't have a right. Neither am I saying that if there's a, a, a a PPP regime in office that everybody should boycott it. No, these people are in office under questionable circumstances. They have rigged the elections, in my opinion, and the evidence is there to question it. And that's why, again, they're running from the elections petition. That is why they're running from showing the SOPs and all these things. That is why they rush to charge people. They just rush to charge people. Lewin Field, Roxanne Myers, Mingo. They rush to charge those guys to make it appear that there was something sinister about the elections and that the opposition, the then government, AP and UFC, were responsible for that. They know what they did. They know exactly what they did, that the elections was actually rigged to have the PVP installed. That is exactly what happened. And because of the discrimination as well. You can't go around hogging these people and think that everything is honky-dory. No, everything is not honky-dory. Well, well, you heard it there. Everyone is going to have their perspective. Some persons are going to say yeah, some persons are going to say nay. But ultimately, Everybody got the right to proceed the way that they would like to proceed with their business, whether it be political or financial. If you didn't get a chance to do it yet, though, hit the like button. Hit the like button and boost this one in the algorithm. Hit the like button and send this one out to the world. world. Now, now Melly Mel and Tamika Marshall have been going at it for some comments that Melly Mel made about Tamika Marshall's stage presence. Now, does she have good stage presence or does she not have good stage presence? We could have a conversation in the comment section about this. You can share some insights and input that you might have about Tamika Marshall's stage presence when it comes to her performing on stage. Does she get the forward that she need? Does she get the forward that she deserve? Is she the kind of artist and does she hold that type of presence that you're expecting from one of the best female artists to ever do it in Guyana. We're gonna get right into the commentary and hear about this back and forth between Tamika and Melly Mel. Melly Mel had this to say about Tanka Marshall and it has led to a feud online. Melly Mel wrote Tanka Marshall got some good songs but for some reason the local crowd, well not just the local crowd just don't get excited when she's on stage. Why is that? Other Guyanese artists and entertainers shared their feuds about Tanka. Daddy G wrote I think she just needs to get more excited about her music when she's performing and the crowd will follow Tanka Marshall got hits and it's easy to perform when you have hits that people already know you just have to bring energy and command that crowd. Maffy the boss said this new generation of music consumers are different from 2010 to 2020. I wouldn't say nobody gets excited cause she definitely have her real fans I just don't think she's really been invested into music like in the earliest that could be the reason artists need to be consistently producing good music to keep the attention of their fans. Tanka Marshall had this comeback for Melly Mel and Hayers. Unlike most, I don't live on social media. 
I haven't opened FB in months. I'm not creating videos for TikTok and I share on Instagram when I feel like or for work purposes. I just happened to run across this today and I have some time. Now, if keeping in your corner, minding your own business and being unproblematic is tidy tidy then by all means I'm that and will continue cause I prioritize my peace of mind above all else. Secondly, we all know very well I'm not the only artist that's from Guyana. There's many that came before and after me and I don't see y'all supporting, promoting, lifting up any of them. There hasn't been any locally made song that Guyana has put its stamp on as a hit and helped it go beyond our shores. Never. That's a problem. It seems only negativity brings my people together and that's very sad to see. I have never proclaimed myself to be the best singer, dancer, performer. I'm an intelligent woman who will give you a well-written song that's well-produced and a quality video to go with it. In recent times my mind is on other things than music. I've matured and my interests have broadened. If I wasn't going on my head top in my teens, I certainly won't be doing it now. It's been 18 years now since I've been in the industry and from then to now y'all have teared me down countless times and I don't expect y'all to stop. It comes with the territory so it's like water on a duck's back at this point. However, if you care any at all about the state of music in Guyana then some self-reflection is needed. What are we doing as a whole to uplift our artists or anyone in the created industry? How are we helping our music or voice as a nation to have an impact on the world? The sad truth is from the time I've been in the industry to now, nothing has significantly changed. I'll end this long response by saying I'm very proud of my contributions to my country and its industry and to those who have cheered me on and super duper grateful. I've surprised myself with the things I've been able to achieve as a little girl coming from humble beginnings in one mile, Linden, and I'm truly happy with myself. The time Yao yeah, took to write a comment and then sit down and read this long message says a lot more. Finally, Melly Mel, the fact that you've created a platform that feeds on negativity really tells a lot about you as a person. I wish you all peace and fulfillment in your lives. God bless you all. 100% wildcrafted CMOS. From nature, by natives. Why pay more? Look at the perception that is created about him by Smelly Smell. A fucking known entity degenerate hungry belly low life woman.